Now, horses have a regular place on Landward, and most of the team are competent, sort of, riders. But none of us had tried stunt riding. So we thought, who's the best man for the job? Ewan, obviously. Deep in the woods near Pitlochry is an extraordinary horse riding team. It combines the beauty and elegance of horses with some amazing athletic skills. Riders of the Storm is the brainchild of 23-year-old Kirsty McWilliam. She's made a career of her live passion for horses. Anybody who's a regular watcher of Landward will know that horses and I don't get on too well. And I certainly never thought I would see myself hanging upside down from a saddle. But Kirsty assures me she can teach me some of the tricks of the trade. Me, I'm not so sure. Kirsty, on the other hand, is a natural horse rider. Within a year of her first riding lessons, she'd moved on to gymnastics on horseback, equestrian vaulting. I started vaulting um, from the age of about 10, um, and I progressed quite quickly, got into the Scottish team, competed all throughout Europe, and then decided that it wasn't scary enough, um, and I had to find something else. So I went down to England and really learnt all my tricks my trade there. Basically, when I got back, um, I started looking at horses and trained one of my older horses to stunt ride, and then there was so much demand for it that we decided, right, why don't we make this into a business, into a proper team? So we did. How difficult was it to learn that? It's not difficult. It takes time, but it's discipline and fitness and control. Now, obviously, I've got all these qualities, so I might be able to do something. Yeah, of course. But as a way to delay the inevitable, I've asked Kirsty to show me how the moves are done properly first. The first trick we're going to do today is called a backwards arabesque. And now we're going to go into a drag. The third trick is called a bingo wing. Our fourth trick is a lie on the saddle. It looks terrifying. Our fifth move is a wing. It looks quite dramatic. That's a fantastic move. Well, I can't avoid it any longer. It's time for me to learn some tricks. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing a safety helmet, well, I would be more at risk by getting caught up in the straps and my vision would be impaired. Mm -hmm. Right, if you want to hold on to the top of the saddle. Okay. Okay, like that, and you're going to give me your leg. Yeah. You're going to bend it up like that, uh -huh. like this, knee down. One, two, three. Oh, you're strong. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. I'm on the horse. So now we're going to do your drag strap. So yeah. this is the one that holds you on underneath the horse. And we're going to attach it back to this foot here. Okay, so we're just going to take it from underneath. Bring it round and we're going to attach it here for you. So this is the important one? This is the one that's going to attach you and hold you on so that we're not going to have some unexpected falls today. Excellent. Our first trick, we're going to do a lie on the saddle. OK, so leg over. Yep, so holding on to the pommel, that's yeah. it. OK, and we're going to lie our back down onto the saddle. Yeah. Shuffle down. Oh, like that? Yeah, leg out, arm out. How graceful is that? <laughs> Straight leg, point the toe. Well done. Cool. Very good attempt. OK, and back round. Well done. Good for the first so, attempt. So, now we do the hard stuff. Yeah. So now we're going to start our getting our feet in ready for our drag. OK. Now you're going to lower yourself off very slowly off the side of the horse, and I'm just going to hold on to you, that's it. Yeah, Let go with this hand. Nice Which and hand? This one. Right. Nice and slowly. Stretch back. Oh, God. I am stretched back. That's brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> OK, and back up. Oh. Well done. So there you go. Fantastic. Good job. OK. Do you want to try that one again? No, that's no. fine. Just now I've mastered that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your film career. Well, when I was down south working for, it was one of Europe's largest stunt teams, we started working on films like The Duchess, The Other Boleyn Girl, Maid of Honour, um, some really big ones. Um, also, we worked with carriages and things as well. Um, and I've now progressed uh, myself to working and writing in films and also I did a little bit of acting as well in the Wicker Tree that was just out a few months ago. Yeah. 
So Kirsty and her riders of the Storm team are going from strength to strength. Watch out for them on a cinema screen or a show field nearby. Well, that was pretty special, although I suspect it's going to be some time before they ask me to join the team. Ewan, certainly a braver man than I. 